Well, howdy folks. Well, we're back here again at uh, World Headquarters. The old wood shop coming to you from the lower level. And uh, I wish I could say that, uh, wish I could say that I knew what I was doing with this. I don't. Uh, what was I trying to make? Well, I was trying to make a, a bowl that would, you know, be a centerpiece, but yet have a have a opening into the bowl, like a like a jug. I'm not sure what what that would do, but that's what I was trying to do. Well. Uh, I used a uh, faceplate up here, which means that I put I put four screws in there, not thinking that I was going to leave four holes in there. Um, and I got this diameter down to where uh, some of those holes are beginning to show. So. like this here I'm thinking that that this needs to needs to go I need, I need to cut that off there I don't know what that's gonna look like but we're gonna do it and then we're gonna we're going to turn this on this axis and we're gonna take all this bark off here and we're gonna try and make this smaller Partly that will reduce the weight. And then, uh, this hole is, this hole in here is five inches deep, but it's still not gonna, I don't believe going to intersect the, the uh, bowl that I'm intending to make there. So, uh, at some point, I'll probably go back in here and try and drill that a little deeper. I don't know how that's going to work either. And when we get it done, it's not clear what in the world it's going to be. But I think the first thing to do is to cut this off. And I think we'll do it right on the lathe. You know, I, you know uh, I think a guy could do this on the bandsaw. This is easy. Maybe even easier. Bear with me, folks. Rome wasn't built in a day. straight we can straighten it out on the lathe okay the proportions the proportions that I envision are just not there uh, so So we are uh, we are sort of in uh, uh, limbo, I guess you'd say. Uh, Wonder where the heck we're at here. Let's see if we can. I think 
that'll be all right. I think we can do that. I wonder, I got a new, uh, a new tool rest. I'm not so sure that, that it's uh, how it's going to work, but this is how it's why I bought it. To get in where where you need to get in for some close close work so I think I'm going to try and, and use that uh, so I got my glasses on and uh, I think we'll use a, a skew see here. I think uh, let's see if we can make that work. They feel I think what we're going to do is try and reduce this diameter. Uh, I think we're going to try and reduce that diameter. It's too heavy. And uh, Just as soon get rid of that bark. And maybe that will help with our proportions. We're not able to make the bowl big enough so it's going to look like just a It's a small spot in the in the uh, 
So let's see what we can do here. Actually, we want to bring this up. Give us some support. bunch of bark off there that's for sure I think we'll we'll try and do something with the 5 8 gouge Portions look better. It still is going to be <laughs> still going to be a good question of what what the heck it's good for, but.
Well, I, you know, uh, I <laughs> I think we're making some progress, but you know, I just can't be sure. That It's just about impossible to get a to get a smooth cut on here, but uh, <clears throat> let's see if we can take a little bit of this edge off. Still going to be pretty heavy. Still going to be pretty heavy. I'm not sure how much. I'm not sure how much I can do to improve it. I think we're going to stop there. Uh, while, while we're off camera, I'm going to try and uh, do some sanding and see if, if uh, some of that might work and uh, try and bring you back a little later. Thanks for watching, folks.